So, you want to main Ning Wong. Today in this video, I'm going to show you Ning Wong's best weapons, best artifacts, and best team comps so you can get the ultimate Ning Wong build so you can do more damage as your Ning Wong. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on with it. I'm assuming that you know who Ning Wong is if you're watching this video, but for those who don't, Ning Wong is a Geo Catalyst user and is a 4 star character in Genshin Impact. And she is the protector of Liyue in the story of Genshin. Now let's take a look at her talents and give a quick overview of what she does. So a normal attack does Geo damage and falls off 2 crystals at the enemies. And each time you hit with a normal attack, you get a Star Jade. And when you use a charge attack, you fire off all the Star Jades you currently have. You can have a maximum of 3 Star Jades. So your charge attack fires all of, all of your Star Jades at the enemy and your target attack does massive damage. So it has been advised that you do 3 normal attacks and then a charge attack to get most damage, but honestly, I find it more useful to do normal attack, charge attack setup. Because as you can see, the charge attack scaling for Ning Wong is insane. And this is with a level 9 normal attack talent, so if I level up to level 10, then it goes even to 313% normal charge attack damage. So I do find it really helpful if you do normal attack, charge attack, normal attack, charge attack to get the most damage out of your Ning Wong. It does have a 50 stamina cost, but that won't matter later on. Her J screen pops down a Geo Construct that does AoE Geo damage. It can actually block projectiles and it scales off of Ning Wong's max HP. And at level 12 it enhances 89% of Ning Wong's health and it does 461% skill damage. It has a cooldown of 12 seconds. Her Star Shatter Gazzles up a whole bunch of gems and sends them off at enemies that are actually homing, so it actually homes right onto enemies and deals a whole lot of geo damage to them. But if you actually pop your burst while the jade skin is on your field and it's nearby you, the jade skin will destroy itself and fire off a whole bunch of additional gems at the same time. The cool thing about her star shatter is it only actually has a 40 energy cost, which is one of the lowest costs in the game, so you can pop off her burst really often with her setup. Now in the order you should level up your talents, I would probably say normal attack, then your burst, then your skill. Because of course you want your normal attacks to do a lot of damage because your charge attack just has such good percentages. And then your star shadow just also does a lot of damage. Your J skin does do a lot of damage, just I'd prioritize it last in my opinion. And this is where your charge attack does no stamina. When Ning Wong is in possession of star jade, her charge attacks do not consume any stamina. It doesn't matter if you have 1, 2, or 3, if you just have 1 Star Jade and pop your charge attack, it costs no stamina. That's why I do find it more helpful to do a normal attack charge attack setup. Now, next passive is when a character passes through her Jade screen, they get a 12% Geo damage bonus for 10 seconds. So, when you pop your Jade screen, you really want to walk through it to get more damage out of your normal attacks and your burst. It makes it really helpful to increase your damage. And then the last talent just displays nearby ore veins on the mini map, which is which can be helpful if you're looking for specific ores in like Dragon Spine, Zuma. Now I'm going to be honest with you, Ningguang's main DPS potential really stems off of her having constellations. So I do advise you at least be constellation one or two when you start building a uh, main DPS Ningguang, because in my opinion, Ningguang has some of the best constellations in the game. Now let's do a quick overview of the constellation. The constellation 1 is when a normal attack hits, it does AoE damage. So if you hit one person, it just sends off to more people. It helps really with crowds of enemies. Now the second constellation is when Jade Skin is shattered, its cooldown will actually reset and can occur every 6 seconds. So if you know when you pop your burst and you have a Jade Skin nearby, when you actually pop your burst, it destroys that Jade Skin and you have another Jade Skin ready right after you use your burst. So it's a really good rotation of Jade Screen, Burst, Jade Screen, Charge Attack. And then of course the Constellation 3 levels up her Burst. Constellation 4, Jade Screen increases nearby its character's elemental resistance by 10%, which isn't really that helpful, so I think Constellation 4 is really the most useless constellation. But then Constellation 5 increases the level of the Jade Screen, and then Constellation 6 is actually insane. When Star Shadow is used, Ningguang gains 7 Star Jade. So as Ningguang, when you use your burst, usually you have a max of 3 star jades, but this one gives you 7, so you do a charge attack right after you use your burst, and it will do a whole lot of damage. Now let's go on to the weapons. Some of Ningguang's best weapons are the Solar Pearl, the Wind Sith, and possibly Dodoko Tails too. So if you have those, you definitely want to build one of those. 
So you get the solo pill for the battle pass, because I actually bought the battle pass only one time on this account, just to get the solo pill for Ning Long. But then like the next week I got the wind so does it doesn't really matter. So it's kind of a waste, but it, it does matter. And Dota Cocktails was from the Golden Archipelago event, so if you do have that, it's great to use that. And Frost Bailer, you could use Frost Bailer, because I have my Frost Bailer at level 80, because I actually did use it for Ning Wong before I got the Solar Pearl. It was pretty good, but it's not the best, but it is a good free option to easily get a pretty good weapon on Ning Wong. If you do use Solar Pearl, I do advise that you go crit damage on your hat. And if you have the Witsith, I do advise to go crit rate on your hat, because, you know, you want to get the good 1 to 2 ratio on your crit rate and crit damage, so you do the maximum DPS. You could also use the Black Kith Agate if you have it, I've heard that's pretty good for Ningguang. And of course, if you have any 5 star catalyst weapon, use it, because it's better than every single one of the 4 stars. But if you do have one of these 4 stars, I do advise you use Solar Pearl or Witsith. And maybe Dota Coattails, I have it done any testing with it because I haven't leveled up my Dodoco Tails but if you also have Dodoco Tails it's really good for her because her charge attacks do do a lot of damage. Next for her artifacts. I do personally want two piece archaic Petra and two piece Noblesse for a whole bunch of geo damage and my elemental burst damage does a whole lot. You could always do two piece archaic and two piece gladiators or two piece shimmer riders since they both give plus 18% attack I just personally did two piece double blaze because I want her burst to do a lot of damage so if you want her burst to do a lot of damage I recommend two piece archaic, two piece double blaze if you just want to do her normal attacks or charge attacks a lot then I recommend two piece archaic and two piece gladiator or shimmer riders I have heard good things about four piece shimmer riders because as you can see right here, when casting an elemental skill, if the character has 15 or more energy, they lose the 15 energy, but all the normal charge and plunge attack damage is increased by 50% for 10 seconds. I heard some pretty good things about this artifact set, but I personally have never tried it because I don't have any good artifacts for that set yet. If you want to play it safe, you can just go ahead and do the 2-piece archaic and 2-piece doubly, so 2-piece archaic and 2-piece shimmer wires. Or glad. And of course, since it's a DPS character, you want to go for crit rate, crit damage, attack, and energy recharge could be pretty good on Ning Wong, but you don't really need it since the elemental burst only costs 40 energy. And then of course on the sands, you want attack percentage, because you don't need that much energy recharge and elemental mastery doesn't really matter on Ning Wong. And of course for the goblet, you want geo damage bonus. And then of course, for the circlet, you want either crit rate or crit damage, de depending on what your ratio is currently at. Oh yeah, and don't look at the 4 star artifact. By the way, I have not gotten a good crit damage 5 star piece yet for my archaic Petra, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now the team setups you want to use for Ningguang. If you have Ningguang and Zhongling, you have to use them together. They are the best combo. They give the Geo Affinity, and Ningguang is really squishy, so for Zhongli's shield to protect her a whole lot is really helpful. And then on top of that, Zhongli's burst is just really good, there's a whole lot of Geo damage and stuns them so you can start prepping your Jade screens after you use your burst on Zhongli. And also if your Zhongli passes through the Jade screen and get a 12% Geo damage bonus then uses his burst, you get 12% more damage on your burst from Zhongli, which is really helpful. And now honestly, the other two slots on the team for Ning Wong can only be interchangeable with whoever you want. Maybe for the team you want Amona and Diana, which I personally want, because I like Mona to give more damage to my entire team, and I like Diana for the heals and the shields. And since Geo cannot make any elemental reactions like Vaporize, Melt, and Frozen and stuff, and just a crystallized reaction, maybe you want to run an animal user. But since they don't do damage that can be absorbed by animal users, it's not really that crazy. But I do sometimes use Sucos or Venti to swirl them up and keep them all grouped up together. But maybe you want to maximize the damage, so maybe you do Mona Bennett, just do a whole bunch of Vaporize with Momo and Bennett, increase the damage that the enemies take, and increase your damage with Bennett. Maybe you want to do Zhangling Bennett, which I actually won sometimes. Just have the Pyro Resonance, so it also increases your Ning Wong and Zhang Li's attack by even more. And Bennett increases your attack by even further upon that. And then Zhang Ling, I just love Zhang Ling. Zhang Li's amazing. 
Or maybe you want just one on one Beto and help with some Electro on your normal attacks. You can really want anyone else. Just as long as you have Ningguang Zhongli, it really helps. And maybe if you don't have Zhongli, you can run Noah as well for more shields. Maybe Geo Traveler. Just you want to run someone else who has the Geo Resonance so you can do even more damage. Okay, now I'm going to showcase and show off what my Ningguang can do. Before we do the showcase though, I'm going to show you guys, guys my Ningguang stats. She has 14.5k maximum HP. She has attack of 1560. She has 675 defense and 19 elemental mastery. The defense and elemental mastery don't really matter, so it's fine if they're low. My crit rate is at 58.2, and my crit damage is at 148.5, with energy recharge of 159.8. And she also has 85.6% Geo damage bonus. Alright, let's get on with the showcase. Okay, I'm gonna be fighting Stormtail. I'm first gonna do a showcase with Bennett, and I'm gonna fight some other enemies without Bennett, because I know Bennett is really just OP and increases every single person's damage by a whole lot. So, I'm gonna do some fights without Bennett and some fights with Bennett to really show you off how much Ningguang can actually do. Okay, Stormtail is down. <laughs> Up to Bennett, Mona, and then go in, and he's dead. I didn't even get to pop off my second Jade skin before he died. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ningguang does so much damage. Okay, now we're gonna fight Child, but this time I'm taking off Bennett, I'm just gonna put on my usual Diona, and then we're gonna see how she goes. So first, I'm gonna pop the Zhongli shield. Pop the Jade screen. Get the burst. And look at him. Look at him. He's already in this other phase. Nice have it popped off my 7 star Jade. Pop off the 7 star Jade. I've used Zhang Li to shield up. Charge attack. Well. <laughs> And of course, I am a little biased because Ningguang is my favorite character in the game. If you see my videos, then you know I use Ningguang in so many of my thumbnails. She is actually insane how much I use her. Okay, she has this burst back. I'm use Mona. Walk through the Jade screen. And he's dead. Then he has to pop the second Jade screen. And just so y'all know, I'm doing this without using any food on my Ningguang. There's no food, no buffs. Only the team that I'm using right now. Now here are the pros and cons of using Ningguang. Of course the pros, she looks good, she's fun, she does a lot of damage, she's really good at AoE because of the Jade screen, her Star Shatter knocks people back and interrupts animations, her charge attack does a lot of damage, but the cons of using Ningguang, she really does require constellations to make her a viable main DPS character. She's a Geo character, so she can't pluck any Vaporize, Melt, Superconductor, or Freeze. And lastly, the Geo Constructs and Ginchon are just not that... are just really finicky, because if they interact with a boss just a little bit, they'll break themselves, and you can't use them during Ocean Aid. It's hard to use during, like, Ashtaha because he's so big, so if your Jade Skin gets, like, in his hitbox, it'll automatically destroy itself. So maybe in the future, if they do make those changes, so Geo Constructs don't do that, it'll make it way better. And that's pretty much all for this day's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this inspired you to build your Ningguang. She is really the most fun kid to have I played in Genshin Impact, and she's really good at doing massive Geo damage. Hope you enjoyed the guide. Hope this helped you make some decisions of what weapons to use, what artifacts to use, and what talents to level up. I'm gonna go have fun playing Ningguang now, doing my daily commissions, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!